Shalom to everyone. Today we are learning Zera Shimshon. Should be Parashat Devarim, but since we are holding on the week of the nine days, we're going to be learning about Tishabav, Kinot. And Bezat Shem is going to be very interesting. This year should be Leilu Nishmat, Molonison, Ben Dino, Basalilov. Today is 29 years ago how he a uh, dear doctor returned his neshama to Hashem in the city of Bukhara. He saved many, many thousands. One, two people who did he save? I know those people. And Baruch Hashem, uh, he has beautiful children. Three girls, one son, right? Two girls, one son. Uh, one of his daughters, our Kudo. Then second daughter, son, Molo Shalomo, Basalilov. <coughs> he is the heart of Sha'ale Eliyahu. Person has a lot of their heritage. To young and old, humble, honest, very, very good role model to our youth. We would like to say thank you, Molo Shalomo. We really love you. We really respect you. And we are happy to Hashem that He made us neighbors. And you know, in the hard times, in easy times, happy, not so happy, you're always there for us, you're always there with us. Hashem should give you bracha, slacha, paranasatova. And Be'ezad Hashem, you should uh, soon see the wedding of your son, Rabbi Yaakov. Yeah. Rabbi Yaakov Chaim. Rabbi Yaakov Chaim, ah, I didn't know he changed his name, I don't know, Were you going also somewhere in Great go there? I'm joking, that was a joke, that was a joke, sorry, sorry, sorry. And... Uh, <clears throat> Many, many more sons from Rav Nisan, and many from uh, Eliana and Rav Aharon, Ben Nuriel. And this side, Gaspadin Aronov, what's your father's name? Molo Daniel, with Osher Domodet Avlot, Hashem should give you Brachat, Slacha Nachat, okay, Kudo to my brother. And your son, Rabbi Level Yao, Tzadik Yisod Olam. Humble and very nice guy. Really, really, we're happy from him. We're proud of him. Amen. Amen. <coughs> we would like to say the to Michael Chaim Ben Ilanit Nisanov. Hashem should give him speedy Lefua Shlema, Amen. And also, what's Alishayev's son's name? Who's there? Who knows his name? David's nephew. Please find out, it's very important. Okay? Hashem should give Lefua Shlema to Chol Chol Amo Yisrael Vachen Yilazaman Amen. Amen. Also, the shiur should be Leilu Nishmat, my father-in-law, Gabriel Ben Berta, my great mother-in-law, uh, Lea Lubad Abigal, Tzadikim, Tzadikim, Tzadikei Sod Olam. And today is your side of the great Ariya Kadosh. I'll tell you one thing, but I'm not going to go to details, okay? Uh, those people who walk around, play around with Charlie Elia, I'll tell you something scary. Don't be upset, though, okay? Deal, deal. And Rosh Hashanah, this is Rosh Hashanah, Yom Kippur, no Rosh Hashanah, to catch Shofar time. And Rosh Hashanah, during the Shofar, I said something from Arizal's name. Then, for Shmona Esre to have strong Kavanot, I said something from Arizal's name. And, yes? Benjamin Rafael. Benjamin Rafael, Ben. Ben Brachat Tova. Ben Brachat Tova. Amen. And then what happened? Then what happened? Uh, right before Musaf, I said again something from Arizal's name. I don't know why. I felt the Neshama of Arizal was with us. This Rosh Hashanah. I didn't say this to anybody until today. Why? Because two days ago, three days ago, the person who saw this, he told me that day and he told me yesterday. So I said, you know what, on Arizal's words, I said. So I felt Arizal's Nashama was Why? Because when I was praying Shmona Yisrael, guys, I don't tell stories usually. And there was like an old man standing in front of me. And Rosh Hashanah. I opened my eyes and said, what was that? 
and I didn't see him. Then the other person saw old man standing by him and then appeared to him like a lion. Stood by him like a lion until Shmon Isa was over. Then he opened his eyes. He saw he was not there. Uh, then he told me, I said, you know what? I also felt that, but I'm not going to say it to anybody. Why? Because when you say Torah of certain tzaddik, that tzaddik gives you protection. Okay? There was a lady. Can I start from story a little bit? Yeah? I'll tell you, I like to say stories. You know, I, I don't know this hard stuff, so I'm going to say stories today. There was a lady. She had to take her son. Uh, actually... Her husband passed away young, 42 years old. Whatever. Then she went to bury the husband, and she, that time after the burial, she said to the son, "Put your hand on the coffin, on the on the grave." So he did. She said, "Now say what I say." After seven days, she, ah, I'm going to Israel to live for 12 months. Says, "Mommy, you crazy? I can't go anywhere." I mean, it's crazy, but can't go anywhere. Ima, how can I go somewhere to learn when you are alone? She said, don't worry, my brother will take care of me. So what happened? What happened? She made him buy ticket to El Al. After seven days, she, uh, she dropped him off in JFK. Came back to her house in five towns. Okay? As she was going down the steps, couldn't see a step. And broke, I don't know, one of the uh, knees. One of the bones in the knees. Something broken. So she's screaming, calling her brother, her sister, I'm sorry, her sister. Sister comes, takes her to the hospital, and now son goes to Israel. 12 years plain, then goes to the city of Tzfat, okay? That was Thursday. So Thursday he flew out of here. Friday daytime he appeared there in the hotel. He's calling to his mother. Nobody picks up the phone. Calls aunt. Auntie, how is my mom? Oh, she's going to be fine. What do you mean she's going to be fine? She has a procedure, surgery, three and a half hours in one hour. Mm -hmm. What are you talking about? In one hour, here's Shabbat. Maybe I should come back home. No, don't come home. But he said, what's going on? Can you tell me? She said, I cannot tell you. She just spatiknula, tripped on the step. She fell down and broke her uh, knee. And she needs surgery. Not meniscus, bone. Something broke in there. So now he's crying, he doesn't know what to do. Hangs up phone on the, on the end. Calls his friend. He said, listen, Avram, I'm stuck. We're in Tzfat. I don't know where to go. Who can I call? He said, listen, all the rabbis in the shul, they make Abel Shabbat. But you know what? One advice I could give you, let's take first taxi. Ten minutes from here, the cemetery of Tzfat. Let's run to the Kever Ariza. From there, we'll go to Shul Street. So he said, fine, got taxi. By the time taxi came, they run down, look, 150 steps to go down over there. So he goes, praise by Kever Arizal, crying, crying, taxi screaming, oh, in 15 minutes, Shabbat, I have to show park my car, come on, move. So he's crying, 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 he says, Hashem, please answer my tefillah through the prayer of Tzadik, through the Neshama of Tzadik, please. So he went out, they went to the shul, everybody's praying, he's crying, everybody's listening to Shabbat song, you know, the friends together, he's crying. Now they said Suda, drinking a little bit of wine, food, food doesn't go to, down to his throat. He's upset, what's going on with my mommy? What's going on there? What's the surgery? What surgery? Shabbat is over in Israel, he has to wait seven hours extra. Why? Shabbat in America. So after seven hours, it's two o'clock in the morning over there. Two o'clock, he's calling. He's calling, mother picks up the phone, ah, Johnny Onesh. Mama, what happened? When I took you, I came home, I want to go downstairs, I tripped. Well, he said, I told you I didn't. No, don't worry, everything's fine. So he's talking, talking, talking. She said, listen, something bothers me. Can I tell you? She said, yeah, mommy, talk to me. When surgery began, they gave me all the dose. Suddenly, I see a line coming to the door. And then I'm screaming, doctor, line comes in. Doctor screaming at the, at the anesthesiologist. Listen, why you didn't give her the dose? She said, I already finished. You already killed the lady. So why is she screaming? She said, she's not screaming because she says she sees certain lines. Hi, my name is Gosh, like big deal. But, 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 uh, but she's not screaming for pain. So continue. So I said, actually, you know, you're right. So they finished the procedure. After that, she said, my son, the whole surgery, this lion came on the bed, licking me, sitting in front of me. I felt so safe with the lion. As soon as the procedure was over, as I come to myself, lion left, and then they woke me up. I got up, everything's okay. He's got, like, upset. He said, one second, my mom didn't only hit her knee, she hurt her head also. <laughs> I'm done. 
I can't, I can't. Uh, there's nothing normal in her anymore. What's going on here? He started crying, crying, crying. So he called his friend again and said, Aram, I cannot fall asleep today. It's 2 30 in the morning, but I can't sleep. There's something wrong here. I need explanation. He said, You know what? Call certain Rabbi David over there, a few blocks away from you. He doesn't sleep at night. Till 3 4, he learns. Call him. Find out what happened. So that rabbi said, Hi, what did you do for your mom? You know, you're crying. Duh, 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 duh. But what did you do for your mom to feel better? He said, I couldn't find any rabbi because people are praying in shul already. So I went to Ari's house. He said, My name is John. I said, nah. Ari means what? Lion. You see, we say Ari, and Mr. Ariel came in. Well, Ariel, you came on time. Wow, wow. Ari means a lion. So when you went to pray by Kevin Arizal, Arizal said, You know what? My body, I cannot come to. So I said, My Nishama. So Nishama came and supported it. And the surgery went well. So that is who is Arizal. Guys, stories about Arizal, all true. And there are many, many. Zechutoy again, Alenu. Hashem should help us to learn, understand first. Pashut Pshat. And then understand Churufei Shemot. To understand names of Hashem. Grow in that. Connect with Hashem in the Tfilot. Be able to send our Shefa to Hashem. Accept from Hashem Shefa to us. And all our wishes should come true. And Hashem should send Mashiach. We should be dancing at Tisha B'Av, amen. amen. Rabbi, why is this mikveh water so cold? <laughs> because that water straight, uh, comes straight from under the ground. And it's coming, it's coming every second fresh water. Every second there's fresh water. All right, did you hear about that guy who wanted to make his... Eight, eight, eight day old son holding before the breed and he dipped him into the Arizona club. And? Killed him. No. Seriously. Mm -hmm. What do you say to Hasid like this? Hasid Shatez, that's his stamp name. But what do we say? We say the Fuash Lema, no? I'll tell you one thing. Oh, by the way, to a people who don't know how to calculate mitzvot. Uh, guys, Rabbi Adel is here. Let's learn. Let's learn. Antisha Ba'au. Five things happen. Five things happen on Tisha B'Av. Number one. Uh, safety is my goal. Uh, in the desert, it was decreed to our fathers because they cried for no reason. And Tishabal, Hashem said what? You will be crying like this every year. That's number one. Number two. The first Beit HaMikdash got destroyed on Tishabal. Number three. The second Beit HaMikdash got destroyed on Tishabal. Number four. A great city, Betar was destroyed on Tisha B'Av. Number five, Tisha B'Av date, Turnus Rufus Arasha, he plowed the whole territory of Beit HaMikdash. I would like to start with you from Zerah Shimshon. It's in Kinot Aleph. Unfortunately, I didn't have enough time to finish the whole thing, but I'm going to go with you to do the half of this. Midrash says, and Pasuk, in Echa, Pasuk Aleph says, Echa Yashva Badad. The word Echa was said three times in the Torah. Echa means Eich, how? How? How you remained alone? The question is to Yerushalayim. The question is on Beit Hamikdash. When a person learns Torah and has good character traits, successful person. Moshe Rabbeinu saw that in the desert, people. 
were not respecting each other. He said, let me take you to Moshe Rabbeinu for five cents. I'm going to sue you and I'm going to prove you that I'm right. So the point was not, let us go and find out the truth. Let us go and I'll prove you that I'm right and you're wrong. If you go to the court just to prove somebody wrong, you don't care about the truth. Hashem did not make courts for that. Hashem made courts so people should have, oh, that's the true idea? Okay, so I owe you 50 cents, you owe me 50 cents, take the money with friends, case closed. But what did, what did they go to the court for? I'll prove you you're wrong, I don't care, even if I'm going to lose dollar. I'll prove you wrong. That is not the purpose of the court. And Moshe Rabbeinu saw that. What did he say? Eicha. Moshe Rabbeinu says, Eicha esa levadi torcha achem umasa achem verichem. How can I tolerate all this? Thing? With your fights and arguments. But then, Yishayahu Hanavi also said Eicha. Yishayahu Hanavi said, Hey Jewish nation, how are you acting like a not kosher woman? Cheating on her husband, cheating on Hashem. And now, Yirmiyahu, when Beit HaMikdash was destroyed, Yirmiyahu had to go and bring back Jewish nation from Babel. When he came back, he saw Jewish people are coming out. And they had to come out quietly, Nebuchadnezzar said. Nebuchadnezzar said, if you come out crying, I'm going to kill you. Some people did not care, they cried. So Hashem, what's going on with us? Nebuchadnezzar killed them and they cut them into pieces. Why? To scare other people not to cry. What's the problem? Why not allowed to cry? Because he, even this Rasha knew, if Jew cries, Hashem listens. So he said, if you're going to go to cry, Hashem will return back. I mean, that's, I don't want you to cry, he said. So now, Megillat Echa starts. Echa is four things. I know I'm giving you introductions, but without this, we cannot understand. Echa stands for four things. Aleph is one. Hashem says, you forgot that there is one God in the world. You this 10. Hashem said you forgot my 10 commandments. Chav is 20. You forgot the bond between me and Avram Avinu who is the 20th generation from Adam Arishon. Ehe is 5. You forgot to keep Torah. 5 books of Torah. So this Echa we need to know these 4 things are the beginning cause of the destruction of Beit HaMikdash. Echa Yashua Badat. So Yirmiyahu is crying says you Yerushalayim, how did you remain alone? Ha'ir rabati am, a city of many people. Ha'ita ke almana, you were like a widow. Almana widow, chas v'shom l'alenu l'alechem, her husband will never come back. But ke almana, husband is thinking to return. Hashem is thinking to return to Yerushalayim, to rebuild Beit HaMikdash. Rabati Bagoim, uh, Yerushalayim had plenty of many nations coming. Sarati Medinot, Yerushalayim used to be chief of all the towns and cities and countries. Haita Lamas. Now happen what? Has to give Shomat to other cities. Has to bend down to other cities. So now, we need to understand what Megillat Echa says, Sarati Bamedinot. You used to be a chief of all the cities, and now you basically bowing down to them. So let's see Zela Shimshon Aleph. I'm reading inside. Midrash Al Pasuk Sarati Bamedinot. You used to be chief of the cities. Amar Rav Omar Rav Ukva. Rav Ukva said, Belel Tisha B'Av. On the evening of Tisha B'Av, when Beit HaMikdash is beginning to burn. On the 10th, it was burning more. So on the evening of Tisha B'Av, Nichnas Avram Avinu Lebet Kodesh HaKodoshim. Avram Avinu goes inside to a holy of holy yeast. Neshama of Avram Avinu goes inside to Kodesh HaKodoshim. Anchaz HaKodosh Baruch Hu Biyado. Hashem held Avram Avinu's hand. And Hashem said, let me show you the long journey and the short journey. Tell me, Hashem has to give Avram Avinu a long journey? Neshama is everywhere split second. Why would you give somebody a long or short journey? What short journey, what long journey? What does that mean? Good question, right? You know what long journey means? 
how Hashem sees a rasha and doesn't punish him and gives him time and a year and 10 years and 20 years and 20 and 40, 50 years. Hashem says, look how much patience I have for people. Long journey. Short journey, look how much I could punish him and I don't punish him. That's short journey. Look how Hashem loves us from long journey and from short journey. After Hashem giving journeys to Abraham, when he says, No, what are you, my friend, doing in my territory? What are you doing in here? Amale, Riboni, Banai Hechanhem. Abraham Avinu says, My God, where are my children? Where were Jewish nation that time? Exiled by Nebuchadnezzar. He says, I came here, but where are my kids? Huh? What father feels when he comes home and the kids are not there? What fathers felt when they came on Germany to their house and they don't find their family? What was there? Like, where is my hard work? All my life is this. Where is it? Amale, Hashem said to Hashem, Hashem said to Abraham Avinu, Chatu, they sinned, Vigilitim leben Aumot, and I exiled them between among the Goim. Amale, lo ayu bain tzadikim? Ah, Hashem, they were not tzadikim among them, all the Shaim. You take bad pomegranate, two, three good pieces don't come out, they are good. Amale, asota, hamizimoto. If you see in Gemara, Menachot, page 53b, the first top Rashi, you know what it says over there? You read, you get chills. Hashem cried and Hashem said, your children sinned by purpose, knowing. Asota, hamizimata, what's hamizimata? Bemezid. They knew it's a sin, they badafka sin. Ah, I want to go against Hashem. Hashem cried to Aram Amin. Hashem said, what do you think? I wanted to do this. I had no choice doing this. Amale, hayalech alistakel. Betovim shebaen. Aram Amin said, Hashem, but you could have looked at the good ones. There are good people there. Amale, so gihon bishin. Hashem said, even the good ones were embarrassing. Hashem, you could have looked at their Brit Mila. They had Brit Mila. Hashem says, I swear with your life. They were kofer to it. You know kofer is? Ignoring it. Like, ah, oh, I don't have Brit Mila. Like, ah, oh, kofer. I said kofer. <laughs> Deny, deny, thank you. They denied it. They denied Brit Mila. <coughs> I don't know who's looking at me, who's listening to this shoot. Everybody, Rabbi, we're all here with you. No, 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 I'm saying in the up, 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 upper world, lower world, you know, Zoom, uh, YouTube. Rabbi, Zoom is upper or lower? It's on the bottom, lower here. By you, it's upper, here is lower. Yeah, uh, I'll tell you one thing. I'm sure small kids are not listening. It says Adam Arishon, after sin with Chava, he had Orla. You know, after breed they twist the skin. So Adam Arishon was embarrassed having it, and it says he pushed it back. He covered it back. So the breed milah should not be visible. Like, I'm embarrassed to have breed. So when it says, Kafruba, those people were basically embarrassed that they had breed milah when they were children. So they tried to cover it. You know what does that mean? I'm embarrassed to say I'm a Jew. This is what it means. Terrible. Have a Oh, then not only that, El Shayu Semechin, when one would fall down, say, ah, Baruch Hashem, he fell. He lost his business. Ah, Baruch Hashem. He shalom by this thing. Oh, good. What do you mean good? What do you mean good? What are you being happy for? 
Do you know when your friend loses business? You're in danger. Because we, Klal Israel, we are guarantor for each other. We have to be supporting each other, helping each other, standing for each other, and not being happy when someone loses out in something. Dikhtiv ki laotechi as ta'alozi. They were happy sinning it. They were happy going against it. They were happy by somebody's falling. They were happy going against Hashem. They were happy rebelling against Hashem. Ad kan leshono. Until here is the language of the Midrash, which is quoted Gemara Menachot, page 53b. Guys, I don't like to say sad stuff. Do you want me to continue or want me to change topic? Please continue, continue, Rabbi. Yeah? I'm sorry, but this is Tisha B'Av, you know. Tisha B'Av, we got to feel what Hashem cries for. What we need to cry for. Tell me something. One father comes home. And his son did not do what father asked him. Respect your mother. Clean the house. Wash the dishes. You know, make uborka in the house. Learn one hour. Do this, do that. Like, you know, he didn't do it. Father gets upset and breaks the table. That's good or bad? Good. Huh? <laughs> Why is it good? <laughs> He's not going to hit the child. Thank you, Shlomo. You tzaddik. Chacham. You know what it says? Hashem spilled his anger on the rocks of Beit HaMikdash and on the wood of the Beit HaMikdash, but not on Jewish people. Do you know how sometimes, let's say, crazy man, ah, he wants to beat up his son, the woman says, and says, says beat me up, but this is what Beit HaMikdash did. Beit HaMikdash said, Hashem, Hit me, break me, burn me. But don't touch Jewish nation. This is why we all Bet HaMikdash. We're walking now safely because of Bet HaMikdash. It's our mother. It got slapped. It got hurt. For 2,000 years almost. Why? So children should be safe. Kashe. Lama Kuzakuzvachu Beyado. Why Hashem was holding Abraham in his hands? Why Hashem had to walk with him long journey, short journey, what Abraham is asking, where are my children? Whoa, Abraham, you don't remember the breed Ben Abitarim? When Hashem said, no, I'm going to make your children good, said, oh, I want to see the little bit of sign. Hashem said, sign you want to see? Your children will be in the, in the Egypt for 430 years. How many years we were in Egypt? Two, two ten. How many left? One ninety, two twenty, whatever. One ninety left. Fine. Hashem said, "You know what? Should I take them out? Should I take them out right now, or I'm gonna take, give them four hundred right now, and whatever it happens to them, or I'll take them out right now. One ninety, I'm gonna spread later on. First bed amigdash, second bed amigdash, pogrom here, Holocaust there. This is this. This is Corona. Do you want that? Abraham Avinu said, "You know what? Take out right now for two ten, and give the rest later." So Abraham Avinu made the deal. So what is he asking for, Hashem? Where are my kids? You are the one who made the deal, no? If you're the one who made the deal, what are you asking? Shebota abrit birer hu atzmo agalut leisrael during that covenant. Abraham Avinu himself he made the. Agreement that this is better for them. He chose it out. Vim Tomar Shekavana Achered Aitalolam Bishe Elazo. But if you want to tell me, our Ram had different intention when he has raised my children. Im Ken Mazo Tushwashon at Lakdush Bahu Chat Uvi Glitim Benaomot. So what is Hashem answering him? They sinned and I basically kick them out of the house. Kam Huyo Deze Bafilu Hachi Shoel. 
Banayach on him. If Avraham Avinu knows they sinned and they were thrown out because the Neshama sees everything, right? Neshama has no borders. Neshama sees what happened 10 years ago, Neshama sees what happens tomorrow. So why is he asking? And if so, why is he saying these words? Where are my sons? Next, the odd and also another question. Kshisha Allah, Hayu Bahem Tzadikim. What did Avraham Avinu say? Hashem? They were not tzaddikim among them. Can you imagine till today Neshamot going up to Hashem and talking to Hashem? Do you know that? Good things or bad things happen in the world. Neshamot go up to Hashem. Avraham Avinu, Yitzchak Ben Yaakov Avinu. Today's Neshama, Arizal's Neshama going to Hashem. They're talking, they're talking. Hashem, what's going on? Why, why happen like this? Why happen like that? Do like this, do like that. They pray to Hashem, right? Why do we light candles? Huh? Many answers to that. Candles is the resemblance that you can give light in this world as long as there is flame. flame. Means the flame is the neshama and the body of the candle is the body. Okay? Oil is the body and the fire is the neshama. So we say to a person, you can praise Hashem in this world like a candle as long as you have a neshama. When you, you know, one, once I saw in Zohar says, when you light the candle, as if you attached that nashama of a person to his body. So he gets uplifted. Something like this. <coughs> this is what he said, Lelu Nishman, and we light the candle. Who did you attach the soul to the body? It has certain peula, certain improvement for the neshama. The old keshashal lo ayu baim tzadikim, and this is what Abraham is asking. They were not tzadikim among them. Hayalo la ashiv and baim tzadikim. So Hashem should say what? You ask him if they're tzadikim. They're not tzadikim. Finished. Umawa la shon shel asota hamzimata denakad. What did Hashem say? You ask him if they're tzadikim. They all sinned by purpose. Nazlo. Umauza she chozer ve shoel haya lachal is takel betovim. So why Avraham Avinu is asking? Hi, okay, they sin by purpose. Okay, why don't you look at good people over there? They were good people. So if person sinned by purpose, what kind of good person is there? Next, da lo im lo yes tzadikim lo yunami tovim. What if there's not tzadikim? There are no good people there. Tell me somebody is not sadiq, he's not a good person, that's all, he's bad, put stamp on him, finished, it. Rasha, bad, evil. The man have the shesh ben tzadikim letovim. What's the difference between tzadikim and good people? Another question. Vavkan, hayadu la'ashiv, en ba'em tovim. Say, they are no good. Umau so gihon bishin de nakat. So why Hashem says, there are... Even the good ones are embarrassment. Like, why? The odd achakach chozev v'shel hayalo laabit b'mila shebiv saram. So after all this, Hashem says they bad. They did it. He says, why don't you look at their brit mila? What Avraham Avinu is saying? Why don't you look at their brit mila in their body? My nian mila lekan. What brit mila has to do with here? Umau v'laot elu shayu lo shayu elu smechim b'mafalatan shel elu. So what Hashem is saying, you know what, you're asking about Debrit Mila? Look, they're making fun of each other's falling. When friend falls down, it's making fun of, ah, good happened to you. Chas shalom. One sure. Thank you. Tarti to Shuvot Lamali. Why Hashem gives him two answers? So, Davar Lamidlash Kulo Kulo Makshem. How can we connect all these questions and answers Avraham Avinu is asking and Hashem is answering? I'll give you two of them by Zad Hashem and this will conclude by 10 o'clock in 10 minutes. I want to tell you one thing. Why do we have to start every day Shacharit? Avraham, Yitzchak, Yaakov. Eloke Avraham, Eloke Yitzchak, Eloke Yaakov. Milcha, Eloke Avraham, Eloke Yitzchak, Eloke Yaakov. Aravit, Eloke Avraham, Eloke Yitzchak, Eloke Yaakov. Why? Why do we need this for? You should know one thing. In life, there is no way you can get connected to Hashem 
if you're not going through our award. Rabbi Gabriel, can you change the phone because the Zoom died? If there is no history, there is no future. I'll put my phone. Recording in progress. It says in Midrash, Chaloti hi shenot yamin elion al yadi shelo asinu teshuva nishtanet hayamin ad kan leshono. Hashem says, it is my fault. Sir? Hashem says, it is my fault that I changed my right hand into my left hand. What does that mean? Hashem changes right hand to left hand. Shalom asinu teshuva, because Klal Israel sinned and they didn't they didn't do teshuva. Nishtane tayamin, the right hand changed. At kan leshono v'yedua shasmol nikret yad. Any time in the Torah it says yad hand, it means left hand. I mean sometimes that says on right hand also, but. Gemara concludes, anytime it says in the Gemara, Torah, Yad, it means left hand. How do you say right hand? Yamin. Yamini. Mimino eshdad lamo. Every time it says Yamin, it means right hand. Yad, left hand. Usually, left hand is called hand. Stam. Stam. So here we see that even the right hand is called hand, yad. Therefore, Hashem held his hand, which is left, even the right hand left, and not right hand. Hashem held. That's why Hashem was going long journey. And short journey. Remember, we spoke about journey. What does that mean? <coughs> the ita be midlash. There's midlash al pasuk. Ki im maos me astanu, because they made me disgusting. Hashem said, when person sins, he is disgusting in front of Hashem. He disgusts Hashem. Im me isahi let sover. Ve im kitzifahi it sover. If he is disgusting, understood. If he's causing anger of Hashem, that's not understood. Kelomar, Hayamar, Elo, Kol, Haorech, Afshen, Asala, Emle, Israel. Hashem showed even the long journey how much Hashem gave in to Klal Israel, how much Hashem had patience. Vafapiken, Lochazubichua. Still, Hashem had so much long journey mercy. They still didn't do Tshuva. Vezeu Aruchot. That means a long journey. You know, sometimes Father. To his son, he feels like, you know, my son, you made it wrong. But I'll forgive you. Because of you, we lost money. I forgive you. Because of you, we lost clients. I forgive you. Because of you, we did something wrong. I forgive you. Because of you, we... How much father can forgive? Hashem had so much chances to us. But Kalal Israel did not do Teshuvah. Can I tell you one thing? Each one of us thinks, oh, come on, what can I do for Beit HaMikdash today? What can I do? I cannot do nothing. I'm a small person. Beit HaMikdash to build, you need 600,000 people to do Tshuva. Wrong. Each one of us, let's make a deal. Today, before you go to sleep, say Hashem, I want to take on myself to do Tshuva today because I may be sinned. Maybe I did something wrong in front of you. I want to make Teshuvah. I want you to forgive me. I want to be close to you. I want to clean my actions. I want to clean my highway. 
Because sometimes I sin, I sin, I sin, I sin on top of it, and I feel proud. I want to make Teshuvah, maybe, you know, I want to I be close to you, Hashem. I want to clean my highway, be attached with you. As it says, V'atem advekim badonai Elohechem, Chaim kulchem hayom. Life you are today. I want to be attached with you, Hashem. This small Teshuvah that we do today, maybe we didn't do still, since three weeks began. We need to take it seriously. אף על פי כן, לא חזו בשבב זהו ארוחות, ועוד היה מראה לו כצדות דהיינו, הן לא קצרה יד השם מהושיע. השם's hand was not short from saving them. They sin, sin, sin. השם says, you know what? I still give you my long hand. I still forgive you. I still give you a chance to do תשובה. אמר לו, Mali didi beveti. Hashem says, "What is my dear doing in my house? In two minutes, we're done." Ain lecha makom leitraim. There is no way that you could complain. Im nechelav abayit v'nislav amikdash. If bed amikdash will be burning and will be destroyed, lefishaya ohel sheli ubalabayit yachol la asot beveto masherotze. Hashem says, "This is my tent." And I could do whatever I want in my house. I decide to break it, I'll break it. Why? Because I see people don't deserve it. Why is Beit HaMikdash called Mishkan? With this I'll conclude. Tell me please. Why is it called Mishkan? What means the word Mashkon? What means Mashkon? Who can help me? How about Mitzia guys? Baba Kama, Baba Batra. In Bukharian, do you know how we call Mashkon? Amonat. What's Amonat? In English, how do we call it? The deposit. You want to make a party? They say, give us deposit. How do I know tomorrow you're not going to run away? So you give Amonat, down payment. Do you know Hashem called Mikdash Mishkan? Hashem says, you might bet a Mikdash, you're going to be my deposit place. Deposit. Question mark if you're going to remain or not. Why? If Jewish people will sin a lot, in order to destroy them, I'll destroy you. Hashem destroyed Beit HaMikdash, but did not destroy Jewish nation. Why? Because Beit HaMikdash was from the beginning made as what? Amonat, deposit. This is why it's called Mishkan. Mikdash, Mishkan. Segal is Mizbeach. Very big segal is Mizbeach. The whole tent is called Mishkan. No, I mean he sacrificed the Mishkan. Ah, he sacrificed, that's right. He sacrificed Mishkan, Beit Mikdash to save Jewish nation. Do you know how many times in history mother gets hurt to save a child? This is exactly what happened. Bed Amidash is called how? Kalmana. What's Kalmana? Like a widow. Where's the husband? Who's the mother? Hashem is the husband. Bed Amidash is the mother. And who are the children? Kalal Israel. And we are not home. Oy Levanim. Shechelavti et beti. Vesalavti et echali. Viglitim. Leben umot haolam, as Gemara quotes in Gemara Brachot, page 3. And we finish with this piece. Ve'od amru zal, sh'akadosh b'achu sh'afach chamato al etim va'avanim k'deh la'atzil et Yisrael. Hashem spilled his anger on the wood and on the rocks in order to save Jewish nation. Ve'chen k'tiv Kala Hashem et Chamat Hashem finished his anger on that. Ve'yatzat esh betzion, and then fire came out in Yerushalayim and burned the Beit Hamikdash. We suffer until today. Do you know there's one Satan, one Satan? There's a special sefer I have. It's called Esha Moadim. I never knew this. I could cry the whole year on any ceremony. When it comes to Shabbat, it's hard for me to cry. I don't know why. Until I don't stay up till 1 o'clock in the morning, think about these things, 
then I have tear. Usually, very hard. Why? Because the certain satan comes out, it sits on every person's heart and says, you know what? What better Mikdash has to do with you? It has nothing to do with you, you know? Relax, calm down. Is it in the grounds, in America, in this, in that? In order to make you feel there's nothing to do to you, <coughs> relax. <coughs> Our job, the preparation for Tisha B'Av starts. Take that Satan, don't bring it close to your heart. So you should feel the pain of Beit HaMikdash. Because every kid dies out of drug, without drug, because of the health issues, medication help, didn't help, all has to do with Beit HaMikdash. When Rabbi Meir heard his neighbor's husband died and the lady was young widow crying, he was crying with her. She said to him, you crying with me? Do you know me? He said, no. Do you know my husband died? Dad? Yes. Did you know him? No. So why are you crying? He said, I cry for Beit HaMikdash. Why are you crying for Beit HaMikdash? He said, if it wouldn't be for destruction of Beit HaMikdash, your husband would not die young. All our problems, all our forgetfulness, everything has to do because of Beit HaMikdash. Because we don't have Beit HaMikdash. Hashem should rebuild it. Send that. Build us all united and connected. Respecting, loving each other from the bottom of the heart. Real respect and real love and grow into the Amitzvot together. V'cheni l'atzom anomar amen. Dibichanan ebena kashe amen. L'atzea kadosh baruchum. L'atzakot did Israel. L'vikach ervan amitzvot. L'atzom anomar amen. Adonai chavez l'man tzitko yagdil. Torah ve'yadil al Israel.